Okay, so I'm going to show you guys um, how I open up my bottles of kombucha after they have gone through a second fermentation. So I've got four different flavors here that have been resting for about four days um, that I've added some fruits and teas to and mint. Um, so we're going to go through each one of them and I will show you what they look like and how to open them up. So this one is a hibiscus and rosehip tea and the secret with this after it's been sitting for a while is that it's going to have quite a bit of pressurization so you want to open it really carefully putting lots of pressure on the top. I open the snap and then I just slowly release the top here. So this one doesn't have very much pressure built up. You heard that little tss. So it is perfect. Uh, the longer you let it sit, the more it's gonna have a build up. And if you have more um, yeast as well, it'll produce more carbon dioxide. You can see it fizzing a little bit as well. I'll show you here real close. So you can see it just fizzing and bubbling a little bit. And then to get it out, to strain out this stuff, I just use a simple strainer. And it just catches the, what you, whatever you've added into it. beautiful color to it. You can double strain it, triple strain it, put it through cheesecloth, like whatever you want to do to strain it even more. I personally don't strain it very much, just that. And uh, if you get a scopey build up in it, just strain it again. Oh, this one has just a nice sweet tart flavor. It's beautiful, very summer refreshing. Okay, next one is the strawberry, which it's got this really nice color to it, um, and more strawberries will give it an even more red color. So again, we'll just pop it. Oh, this one has a little more carbonation. You can see stuff rising. If you were to release it right away, it will rise up. That's why you leave breathing room in the necks of your bottles to do Oh, definitely more on the sour side. I probably wouldn't have let this one sit uh, out so long, but I mean, it's got that real summer, summer sweet tart flavor to it. And, uh, it's super lovely. Just I love the color. Like it's almost like orangey, peachy kind of color. Mm. All right. Next up is the rhubarb. So I used fresh rhubarb. It was quite green, and I'm just showing you in a different bottle. Um, same thing though. This one probably has like no fizz because this cap. I want to show you, if you use these kinds of caps and things, they just don't create the same seal. The swing tops are where it's at. So when it doesn't have that carbonation, then it's just a very flat, very flat beverage. Which, you know, like if you're home brewing, that's your choice if you don't want it to have all that fizz and carbonation. I know some people who hate carbonation in their beverages, so the less carbonation, the better for them. Oh, yes. Very toned down. It's got that tartness of rhubarb, but it's actually not even as sour as the strawberry. Felt like the kombucha really drew out the sourness in the strawberry, whereas this one almost drew out the sweetness that's in the rhubarb. It's interesting. But I do like it. It's a nice flavor. And again, like, I've got a very flat, very flat drink. Didn't have like any kind of carbonation elements to it. All right, last one. I got some fresh mint that I picked. This one probably won't have much carbonation either. 
yeah, like no carbonation. Simply because mint, it doesn't have any sugars in it, so all, the only carbonation that'll happen is based on whatever yeast and sugar is left in my base brew kombucha that I originally had tapped off. So if I had tapped off and it was a very sweet mixture with lots of yeast, then maybe I would get a little bit of carbonation. But this mixture was already um, ready to go and with the mint just didn't add any extra. Plus this top, this bottle came from Ikea, it also doesn't have as good of a seal. So again, it's not going to carbonate as much either. Cheers. Mm. I love the, the smell, like the aromatic of mint right away hits you. I don't find it's like super minty, like mint toothpaste or anything like that. It's almost got like an undertone mint, um, kind of like that mojito kind of feel. Kombucha would make a great mixer, like, or I should say, kombucha makes for a great mixer with alcoholic beverages, with pop, with juice. I really, you can even cut it with water to give it a different taste, so you want to make a different kind of spin of on a mojito, you can use mint kombucha. Um, we love to do, you know, vodka and some other beverages with the hibiscus and rose hip. You can, yeah, just make it like a lemonade strawberry lemonade kombucha. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you got some inspiration for some fun summer flavors for your kombucha. And don't forget to like and subscribe.